Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how I edited this natural light portrait that I recently took about two weeks ago, I believe. So I'm going to show you guys everything I did. Uh, let me show you guys the before. So this is the before image, which is still very nice, but of course my white balance was off. I wanted a little bit more intensity with the sky here, and you know, it just all needed to be brightened some. So let's not waste any time, and let's get started. So we're going to start off in Lightroom. I'm going to do my basic edit, which is adjusting the white balance and exposure. Uh, for this image, the exposure isn't too bad. It's just slightly underexposed, but uh, I might end up just changing that in Photoshop instead. So let's start with our white balance. So their skin tones are a little on the blue side. Um, so I'm going to go right here where it says custom, and I'm going to select cloudy, which is one of the warmer presets. And that warmed it up quite a bit, but it, their skin tones are still a little too green for my taste. So I'm going to add in a little bit of magenta. So you can find that right here where it says tint. And I'm just going to drag it up some. 18 is good. And that's about it. The only thing that I want to change now is the distortion. I was using my, I believe I was using my 50 millimeter. Yeah, I was using my 50 millimeter lens, and I wasn't too close to them whatsoever, but there is still a slight bit of distortion. So I'm going to go down, keep scrolling um, right here where it says, oh, I already have it, where it says lens correction. Just click on this checkbox where it says enable profile, profile corrections, and that'll fix um, any distortion that your image has. So now I'm going to just take this image on over to Photoshop. Okay, so I'm in Photoshop now, and I'm going to start off with changing the color of the mom's scarf. The colors we were using, the color theme for this Photoshop, was coral and aqua, but she can only find a mint scarf, so I told her not to worry, to worry about it. I can probably just change it in Photoshop. So I'm going to go right here, and I'm going to go to Hue and Saturation. And so I believe this will probably be in the science. And I'm going to click on this eyedrop tool. I'm going to click on the mom's scarf. And I'm going to start changing the color. So let's see. I'm going to take it up to there for now. My layer mask selected, and I'm going to click Control i to invert it. And I'm going to scroll on in, zoom on in rather, click B on my keyboard for my brush tool. And I'm just going to change my brush color to white, opacity at 100. And I'm just going to start painting the color on. Zoom back out and take a look. So before and after. You know what, that's good enough. So I'm just gonna flatten that. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a sun flare right here. We already have the pretty light peeking through. I normally wouldn't touch it, but I want it to with this session. <laughs> so I'm gonna create a blank layer, and I'm gonna, gonna click B on my keyboard for my brush tool. And let me double click here, and I'm gonna select I'll start with the darker orange, about right there. Click OK. I'm going to expand my brush and click. Oh, I make sure you guys have a soft brush selected. I'm going to double click my color again right here. I'm going to make it a tad lighter. And I'm going to decrease the size of my brush. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and click. I'm going to do the same thing, double click the color, select a lighter color, about right there. I'm going to go one, two, three, and click. Now I'm using my bracket bars to expand and decrease the size of my brush. So now I'm going to change my blending mode to screen. I'm going to click and drag this up. So that gives it like, you know, the whole dreamy, magical light type look. Um, I actually have a tutorial showing 
how to do this too, but yeah. So I'm going to drag it to about there. It goes perfectly because obviously the image was backlit and I think the best time to use, you know, faux sun flares is, you know, when your subjects are backlit and they also have the rim lighting going around them. So as you can see, she has the rim light here, he has it here, so it'll look a little bit more realistic when you have, you know, your sun flare in the right place. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Click on your check mark. So I think that looks really good. I'm going to add another blank layer, and I'm going to double click the color right here. And I'm going to change this to a darker orange. So I have it all the way up here in the right side corner. I'm going to take it down to where it's almost, almost red, but not quite. It's a dark orange. And click B on the keyboard for your brush tool. Increase the size. I'm just going to paint around here. I feel like adding a darker orange around the sun flare gives, I don't know, it gives it more depth, I guess you can say. And I'm going to click on screen and lower your opacity. And that's good. So now I'm going to darken my edges by adding a uh, black gradient. So I'm going to go right here and I'm going to click on gradient. And I'm going to change this to this one right here. I'm not exactly sure what it's called. Oh, it says neutral density. So I'm going to click that one, select OK. And I'm going to change my style to radial. And I'm going to reverse it. I'm going to select OK. Make sure that you have your layer mask selected and a soft black brush. And now I'm just going to start removing this from up here where the sun flare is. And I'm also going to remove it from the family. Okay, so now I'm just going to lower my opacity. I'm just, and I think 22% is good. Yeah, that looks nice. And to me, when you add, you know, like this faux light and faux shadowing, it just adds more depth to the image. Of course, it's always good to get it right in camera, but for the times where you don't, it's good to know how to, you know, add that in Photoshop. So we've got that. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a warm filter to this image. So right here, it says photo filter. Click on it. And I'm just going to leave it at 25. I'm going to leave the opacity the same and the blending mode the same. I'm going to go back down right here and I'm going to paint some orange over here and over here. I'm also going to go back down to my sun flare and select the move tool. I'm just going to drag this up a little bit. It was coming down a little too low, so I'm just going to drag it up a tad. About right there is good. So now I'm going to take this back over to Lightroom to add some final adjustments. I'm back in Lightroom and instead of me being in the develop tab, I'm in the library tab. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to up the exposure. So uh, Lightroom has some uh, quick presets right here and I like to use the exposure one. I'm going to click this arrow right here, not this one but this one to up my exposure. That's perfect. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please comment down below. And if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe. Thanks guys. Bye.